there guys, this is Charms Way, and welcome back to Sam and Max, right side of the moon. In the last episode, we got our bearings on the moon and back on Earth. So now, it's time for us to join the blister of... What is it, tranquility? So, first of all, we need to be on the red spectrum. Chill. Here we go. We are going to... <laughs> it should be... Well, most mood things that change color are changed by heat. So, we are gonna put this little um, unicorn in the macrowave. Unicorn. Macrowave. I know one way to get horny hot. Okay, that's not... <laughs> no, don't say it like that, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, you had it on high, so... Uh... Success! Hey! His little horn's nice and red. Wow, I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist! Jeez. <laughs> no, that's not how it works, but okay. Let's go back to the moon. Oh, I love this. This game. I missed it so much. Like, okay, as you know, I've been playing Whispered World recently, and I don't mind dialogue. As We're long as it's, now, like, Sam. you know, useful or, like, funny. To the moon, Alice. But just going through the Whispered World, it just feels like it drags on, and it's just constantly, like, ah, like my life, blah, blah, blah. It's a depressing pit of... Blackness, blah blah blah. I am sad, Wick. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> okay, I get sick of it after a while. That's why I, s I had to skip through some of the dialogue, but I love Sam and Max because they're so witty and so funny. Here you go, buddy. Let us in. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. You're yep. utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. We never <laughs> We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. And here we go into the mystical world of Tranqua. Sam, Sam, there he is. It's Hugh Bliss. Hi. Oh God. Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Okay, okay, okay. So hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. Neither could I. Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have splendid news. My top secret Your eyeballs are... the entire world is nearly complete. <laughs> Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. None shall escape. It'll be fabulous. <laughs> You're a good man. Bravo, bravo. Okay. Excuse you. Outstanding. Um, awesome. <laughs> Jesus, God damn it, Chippy. Keep up the great work, everyone. I'm tickled pink. <laughs> An entire planet of prismatologists. It's like a dream. The kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right, the best kind. P.S. Please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you. Um, no promises. Okay. Oh God, everything is just oh, it's not the rainbows that are scaring me. It's this and this and all and that. Oh God. Okay. Uh, hey Lincoln, what's up? You went missing. It's good. Look, Max, it's the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, brethren, to the blister of. Oh, it's you two. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> your fancy giant robot body, are you? I can still bite off your fluffy little. Uh, I mean, let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation and bathe in the yellow of peace and brotherhood. Bathe in the uh -huh. yellow? Just what kind of camp is this? 
This is odd. I don't know. Is prismatology teaching you anything? I'm working to master the miraculous power of gastrokinesis. You Excuse can teleport yourself? even dictators? Well, yes, but now I'm working on gastrokinesis. The ability to make anyone throw up with my mind. That's fucking... That's really gross. I don't know if... Max and I are always looking for new ways to make people throw up. Teach us. Please. As it is now, I can make people vomit with every part of my body except my mind. That's well, if you are gray. a true prismatologist, I suppose I'm obliged to help you. But there's a problem. I accidentally swallowed the gastrokinesis talisman. Sam, That's is that really gross. Or sarcastic? It's pretty damned inconvenient. That's very. Duh. Can't you make yourself throw up the gastrokinesis talisman? I haven't thrown up since 1863, <sighs> right after I gave the Gettysburg Address. I was kind of nervous that day. I didn't have anything prepared. <laughs> You're not still bitter about the election, are you? Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny wig bits? Election? Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Only Thanks, a buddy. sociopathic masochist would want that thankless job. Great, eh? Thanks, buddy. I'm flattered. Ah, uh, then why are you so upset? Why the long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. This is all happening so fast. I don't know what to Not say. Not you. Not you, moron. God. I'm talking about that radiant vision of beauty you had interrupt my family value speech. You mean Sybil? Is that her name? Sybil? It's like a chorus of angels. Oh, God. But you... But you... <sighs> Jesus. Aren't you married? Aren't you married? What about Mary, your mannish but devoted wife? Why don't you find a nice giant statue of her? Settle down and start cranking out little bouncing baby war memorials. Uh, let's there not. Left. Lady Bird Johnson had all graven images of former first ladies destroyed during the Great Enlightenment of 1963. Thanks. Um. Okay, we'll help you, we can I guess. We give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. Hello. If you'd like to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. <laughs> hell yeah! Mr. Lincoln. Hello? Civil pandemic speaking. Uh, hi. It's Abraham Lincoln. Oh! You've got some nerve calling after how you treated me. Wait, don't hang up. Oh, God, um... Just relax, baby. Think positive. Uh, no, I feel uncomfortable Lincoln doing this now. <laughs> make it all better. <laughs> well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. This is so wrong. In every single way. It's like helping your friggin' parents... Well, like, a single parent. Like, get a new date and be like, I don't know what... Be like... Hey, sweet thing. I'm like, no, don't do- no, stop that. Lady, you a stone cold fox. Jesus. Seriously? Mm, all right. Really wrong. I feel so uncomfortable. I figure doing we this. watch a hockey game, have a couple of beers, get some poutine. You know, the usual. Oh, Abe, I never knew you had such a deep appreciation for my culture. It all sounds Your wonderful. Cult. Come over as soon as you can. Was that? Did she actually say yes? Hello. You just totally scored. Thank you. Congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Lincoln. Oh my gosh. What if she wants to get serious? I can't do this. I'm so nervous. I've got butterflies. I have to ask, where? Stand back, Max. Wherever they are, I have a feeling they're coming back up. Oh, oh. I don't feel so good. What if she... 
and I can't. Oh, that's yeah. gross. Here, I thought our trip to the moon was going to be boring. Max, be a sport and pick that up for me. Not a chance. <laughs> Can I take this? I'm not sure why you'd want to use the power of prismatology to make people throw up, but go ahead. I've got more important things to worry about. You were thinking about the gross, weren't you? That's gross. This is a kid friendly game. <laughs> you know, after Mr. Mole said that size doesn't matter, color does. <laughs> And that you knew how to make horny red hot. <laughs> I'm so immature. I can't. This is not going well. Okay. Okay, that's uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Don't. This is not the time to do that. This is zero gravity. You could die. Comfortable. Okay. Let's try doing this again. The spoon. No, where are you going? Go here. Alright. Okay. It really should work on securing this thing better. Uh, blimey. Okay. Let's see. But he can clearly see us. Max, come here. Here, Max. Hold this. Ah, oh, that's hands, not. But whatever. <laughs> okay, leaving. One moment, please. Okay. Don't. Go ahead. It's gross. Come here. Okay. Um. Let's let's come here. Max, Max, keep still, Max. Uh, oh, uh, hey, it's that display case. Thanks, little pal. Aw, oh, I was saving that! I'm sorry, buddy. It's complicated, but it has to do with my personal vendetta against a certain major coffee house chain. Ha! Huh. Okay. It's probably store books. Okay, let's go back home. Home. Where are we home. headed now, Sam? There is only one there. Home. Home. Terra Erta. Oh. This is a lot of back and forth, by the way. Letting you know now. Because I... Uh, what did that fan say? I, I don't know. I... Okay. We'll probably find out later on, I guess. I don't know. We need this. Sam, without that, we can't watch Colonel Mudshank's monkey party tonight. They were gonna vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshank's exiled for treason, remember? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, so now we have to go back to the moon and fiddle around with the lunar lander. So that's apparently what the, I don't know. Right? I just... <clears throat> we will try. We digress. I'm, I'm using these now, words Sam? very, very wrongly. Wrongly. I'm using these words wrong. God. To the moon, Alice. His name is Max. Not Alice. That's my aunt's name. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see here. So. Rocket engine. That's quite a rocket engine. Uh, let's see. It says I have to do this. Ah, so it melts off. Cool, cool, cool. Um... And then, uh, I need to open the door with a huge hanger, because apparently that's a thing. Oh, blimey! Hey! 
Hey, don't do this at home, kids, okay? And they just left the keys there, too. Awesome! Okay! Let's do it! Oh, blimey sake, okay. Sam? I think yeah? The controls don't work how they're supposed to. No, I, I don't think so either. Um, let's get that talisman. Oh, boy. It looks like that rocket melted the virtually indestructible case right off the indestructible magic spoon bending talisman. Did the peanut butter on the spoon survive? Sorry, little pal. Ah, sorry, bud. I know you wanted to lick the spoon, but just, just, just wait until we make cookies later. It's gonna be fucking great. All right, back again. <clears throat> to the really creepy, hubeless filled place. Ugh. Okay, hey. I, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, here. Hey, buddy. They have sharks and the blister of tranquility? Why not? Our devoted practitioners are welcome. That's true. Hey, Max. Hey, buddy. Is that our bug? <coughs> hey, Max. Is that our bug? He's yep. still got it. Thank you. You're a prismatologist, too? Yes, I am. I'm so happy I could do rainbows. Rainbows. Do it. Uh, we'll just keep our distance, then. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's up, guys? Look, Max. It's our obsolete computer pals, the cops. They don't sound very happy to see us. You destroyed reality 2.0. I am Destroy! sorry. Remember your blitz. Adopt a more positive attitude now. Okay. <sighs> what are you computers doing here on the moon? <clears throat> Prismatology has restored our sense of purpose. After you destroyed reality 2.0, we banded together to make a newer, even better game. Coming soon. Rock you came to a private huh. retreat on the moon to work on something as insubstantial <laughs> as a video game? Not just any game. We are creating the most advanced AI in history. In a world where two forces battle for domination <laughs> of a war-torn landscape, only one will draw the line and reign supreme. Do you get to shoot stuff? It's not a good game until you get to shoot stuff. It's a shoot stuff. Thank you for your feedback. We will incorporate shooting into version 2.0. Okay, can we try? Okay, I like well, video Max games. I'll try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation! The year is 2048. In a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant corporations, you are <gasps> a cybernetically enhanced space marine with no memory of his past. I am <sighs> the chosen one foretold by prophecy. Do you have the strength to survive? Seriously? Are you serious right now? I will destroy you! Jesus. I win. Actually, I just kinda did. You're wrong. <laughs> By your calculations, your chances of winning were one in ten trillion. The sun um. was in my eyes! Thank you for playing Tic Tac Doom. We'll continue to look within ourselves and improve our award-winning AI <laughs> to make it even more challenging. It was too short, and not hard enough. I want my money back! Please try again later. But... What? 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 Did, did you want me to lose the game? We like okay. to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you I've... have the strength to survive? Tick, tack, doom! Doom! Jesus. You are very emphatic. Please, there's almost no way that you can... Come on! <laughs> no, god damn it, I'm not supposed to win. No, 
Your artificial intelligence requires adjustment. <sighs> Our brother will continue to look within him. I can't believe I'm improve. very upset about lo about winning. Hey, I'm Tom. supposed to lose. Oh. <sighs> We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. Come on, buddy. Strength to survive. Tick tock doo. You literally. I'm going to kill you if you don't win. Uh, come the fuck on. Are you serious? I'm going to fucking. Uh, okay. You win, thank God. Oh darn, you beat me fair and square. Good game. Thanks, buddy. Beat you guys. Yeah, I you did. Now we have mastered the most advanced artificial intelligence ever created. You it's suck stupid. so bad. <laughs> Let me try, Sam. I know I can take him. Super sophisticated AI entity. Brother. Speak so that the primitive earthlings may understand. Oh my god. Uh, we smart, you dumb. No more need look within self. Ah! Hey, can we take this? Congratulations! You've won free tickets to self-awareness. Okay, cool. thanks. The effects are limited to those of Plumius composition. What did he say? The amazing ability to see through lead may be inappropriate for some viewers. Aha! Huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we have three talismans now. That's a good thing. I think. Um, so I think I will leave this to the next episode. I'll love you guys later.